All right. Now, the Gaza Strip is teetering on the verge of a humanitarian collapse, and Israeli security officials are weighing as to how to prevent the deteriorating conditions. Now, Prime Minister Netanyahu has instructed his cabinet to seriously consider creating an island off of the Gaza shore to help address these concerns, an idea that was brought about by the Intelligence and Transportation Minister Yisrael Katz. Joining us now to take a deeper look is Dr. Mordechai Kedel from the Begin Sadat Center for Strategic Studies at Bar Ilan University. Thank you for joining us. Pleasure. All right, so what do you think of Israel Katz's island? Well, this idea is not a new idea. He, I, I, heard, I heard about this already like three years ago when he started going around with a movie which he produced in order to convince everybody. This island actually will open Gaza to the world. It will have a harbor, it will have storages. It will enable Gaza to be open to the world under security measures run by Israel. Right. And this is the whole thing about here. And, and talk the, about those security measures, because there's supposed to be an airport there as well, right? Yes, yes, airport as well. It will be like a long island, which on one side will be the, the sea harbor, mm -hmm. and the other side will be, you can, as you see now, uh, it will be the runway for the, uh, for the airport. And uh, Israel will run it from the security point of view. What is the likelihood that this will be implemented? Is this going to be implemented? Is this really something feasible? Well, it feasible? all depends on Israel. If Israel decides to build it, mm -hmm. Israel build it, because Israel is the, is the sovereign country which controls the seashore uh, uh, from Gaza. Yet, however, uh, what, what happens is it's not it's the only, only thing. There are other kinds of things which Israel can do. For example, there is a gas field right in front of Gaza, mm -hmm. which Israel gave for free in 1998 to the Palestinians, in order to make some money out of it. But so far, they didn't dig even for one cubic centimeter because they have not yet decided who will take the money. The Ramallah authority of the PLO or the Hamas from, uh, from Gaza. Now, I, now I want to ask you, Defense Minister Avigdor Liban has just said that the situation in Gaza is, quote, difficult, but that there's no humanitarian crisis there. No crisis. You believe the, there's no crisis As much as, if, as they can have food they need, and they get it from Israel. There is no hunger in Gaza. People are not dying out of, out of hunger. What they have a problem is to be governed by a group of terrorists named Hamas. And unfortunately, Israel doesn't emphasize this point. Israel should go day and night, say, those Gazans are hostages in the hand of terrorists who took Gaza over. And if Israel would say time and again and again and again and again, and again it will go into the, into the awareness of the world, and this will be a pressure on Hamas to start dealing f for the people, start right. caring for the people. And this is what Israel, unfortunately, doesn't do. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, thank Dr. Kedam. So